Hey, and welcome back to the Academic Doc. If you're new here, my name is Lehet and I'm an academic junior doctor working in the UK. I know research study designs can be really complicated to understand. So today I'll be providing a basic overview of some of the common types of research study design that we as medical students and junior doctors should be aware of. In this video, I'll be covering the differences between a case control study, a cohort study and randomised control trials. There are two main types of research studies. The first one is an observational study. This involves observing people in their natural environment and watching them over time. The second type of research study design are experimental studies, which involve controlling or manipulating interventions. In a case control study, we start with two groups, the cases and the controls. Cases are a people with a particular disease and the controls are a group of people without the disease but are similar in every other way to the cases group. In a case control study, we look back in time to see what exposures people with the disease and those without the disease had and see whether these exposures led to them developing the disease in the first place. For this reason, case control studies are great at looking at rare diseases such as motor neuron disease. They also allow us to assess multiple exposures. For example, we could look at particular genes that are involved in contributing to the development of motor neuron disease, physical activity, or other factors such as exposure to certain chemicals. They're also much faster and cheaper than doing a cohort study. In contrast, in cohort studies, we start with two groups of people. One group includes people who are exposed to a particular measure of interest, and another group includes people who are not exposed. Both of these groups are similar in all ways apart from the exposure. Unlike a case control study where we look back in time, in a cohort study, we follow people up over a period of time to see whether they go on to develop any specific diseases as a result of the exposure. In this way, a cohort study is the exact opposite of a case control study. For this reason, cohort studies are great for looking at common conditions. They're also really good at identifying the direction of causality. This means that we can say that the exposure of interest directly relates or leads to that particular disease. However, they do take quite a long time and you can only measure one particular exposure of interest. Randomised control trials are a type of experimental studies. In this study, participants are randomly assigned to two or more groups. All of the groups will be the same except for what intervention they receive. In a randomised control trial, participants are recruited into the study and randomly assigned into two groups. Participants in both group one and group two will be the same except for the intervention they receive. We then follow them up over a period of time to see if they develop the outcome of interest. For this reason, randomized control trials are great for comparing the effects of different drugs or other types of interventions. So this was an example of a parallel randomized control trial, which is the most common type of this particular study design. However, there are other types of randomized control trials. For example, a factorial randomized control trial, which involves looking at two or more interventions. You can also get clusters randomized control trials in which instead of randomizing individual participants groups of people are randomized to receive a particular intervention so that was a quick overview of the basic types of research study designs thank you very much for watching if you like the video please do subscribe and leave a comment to stay up to date with the latest content of the channel see you on the next video